Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial in which we are looking at the operands or the effects that you can apply to shape layers. Now I have two polystars on my screen, neither of them have a fill, both of them have a stroke and I'm going to add the operand Trim Paths and I'm applying it at the top layer, in other words I'm applying it at the shape layer so that it's going to affect both of them together. You can apply them separately to each individual shape but I'm going to be applying both of them just to demonstrate it. So I'm clicking Trim Paths and it's applied. And you can open up Trim Paths and you've got a start, an end, an offset and an option of how you do your paths. Now if I start to pull this start value up from 0 to 100 you'll see that what I'm doing is I'm taking away from the shape and go back to 100. And likewise end is just doing exactly the opposite, it's just going in the opposite direction. So you can specify a particular part of a shape that you want to show and then with the offset value below you can offset that around the shape that you have created and you can get this kind of growing on or drawing on look. So you can actually animate this very simply. So if I go to the beginning of my composition and I was to say take this end value at 28% and click the stopwatch and then I was to also animate my offset so click the stopwatch at the beginning and then go to the end of my composition or the end of my work area and then I was to take this up to 100% so it was fully drawn on and maybe do five or six complete rotations in this period of time and then go back to the beginning and hit my space bar because this will actually render very quickly you can see it gives you that sort of drawing on look that you can see quite often with the sort of the flickering stars that can look quite effective. But it's not only for this kind of look that you can do it, you can have very complex shapes that can be drawn on with the Trim Paths tool. And if you do want to work on complex shapes that you're pulling all together and you want them all to sort of trim as one as opposed to all together, you'll notice that at the moment Trim Paths, which is underneath my other shape layers, is set to trim multiple shapes simultaneously so that when I trim them they all go together but if I want one to go and then the other I've got simultaneous I can take the drop down take it individually and now that they're individually when I start moving it around you'll see that the top shape draws off first followed by the shapes below let me just show you that if I click on the top shape polystar 3 you'll see that it's this side so that you can see that the layer order matters whatever's at the top will be drawn off first followed by everything below so that when it gets to 100% that means all of the shapes have gone. 50% will mean that one shape has gone because there are two shapes. But not only can you use this to draw on and off shapes, you can also use it to create things like maps. So I'm going to start a new layer, turn this one off. Nothing selected, so I'm going to be drawing a new shape layer. Bear in mind if I had a layer selected I'd be drawing a mask, but I'm actually going to be drawing a shape layer. Assume perhaps that I have got a map under here. And then I can take my pen tool I've got no fill and I can click, 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 click and just draw around the roads on my map until I get to the point that people need to be. And now that that's done, this shape would be over a map that you've actually got. It could be an underground map or a road map or whatever it needs to be. You open up your shape layer, you go to your operands or add, add trim paths. I'm going to turn off the path so you don't actually see the path. And then I can open up trim paths and I can take my end down from 100 to 0 and I can animate it coming in over 2 seconds so end 0 go to 2 seconds take it to 100% and now my map is going to have a line drawn on it showing people precisely where they need to go that's a bit quick so maybe I want it to happen over 5 seconds so I can just extend my work area to 5 seconds and there you go it's going to draw the map on it's going to go over the top of whatever map you've shown and so you can use trim paths not just to create effects and draw around complex shapes have them draw onto the screen but you can also use it for drawing maps simply to show people directions and have those directions shown and of course you can easily use the keyframes or whatever you need to do well i hope you found this tutorial useful my name's andrew Davis, and thank you for watching mm -hmm.